In this Caden Live tutorial I will show you how to roto mask part of a video clip. I've assumed you have some understanding of editing in Caden Live. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, I've brought this very simple uh, video clip into Caden Live and um, effectively an old Victorian toilet but what I've done is the one underneath I've desaturated so it's black and white just so you can see what's happening okay to roto mask or create a mask in Caden Live you need to look in the alpha and manipulation section so just left click on the little arrow next to this and then you've got something called roto scoping or the F mouse button down and just drag it over your video and make sure you're at the first frame if you start anywhere else you'll be find yourself in difficulties so what I would do initially is place your pointer over the area you want to mask and just left click and keep going around obviously this is going to be a very simple one but you can put as many points as you want in. Just keep going around roughly until you sort of got enough points in to mask your part of your video clip. And then when you've finished, place your pointer over the first point so that the little hand comes up as a pointer and just right click and this will close it off. And as you can see now we've sort of got a, a very simple colour splash kind of video okay now if you press sorry if you come up to monitor left click on this and then left click switch monitor to full screen the shortcut doesn't seem to work on the newer versions I think you've got to set it up manually but it's just as quick to come up here and just go into full screen and then using your left mouse button just adjust your mask until you're happy with the final result. I'm just going to go through this very quickly. And then press escape on your keyboard. Using your right arrow key, I'm going to just hit it five times. And you can see that this is now moving out of position. There's a little plus sign here. Left click on it. It says add keyframe. And again, what I would do is just enlarge the monitor and adjust the position. you must have a keyframe setting. Press escape key again and go forward five times. Make sure you add keyframe and again adjust your position. You can see why I've chosen this because it's relatively simple. Escape to come back out and again five frames forward or ten you can go frame at a time plus monitor full screen and again adjust Your points using your left mouse button and then escape. Now I'm not going to go through this video um, this is how I effectively done the one you saw at the beginning because if I carried on doing this I'd probably lose the will to live but once you get to the end you just go ahead and render your video. Um, what I would do is uh, render the video and see what it looks like and 
you can go back and adjust this so if you're not happy with some points you can just come back to I don't know let's say it, well, I wasn't too happy with uh, the start so I can sort of come to the middle here and I could put another keyframe in and adjust these points again so that's all there is to it really like I said I'm not going to bother going to the end it's roto um, masks are extremely boring what I would say is if you've got a complicated shape you may want to use something like blender um, I have left a link in the description below for using blender it uh, you can actually select points um, track points and lock your mask points to it so they will change automatically if you've got something that's a bit difficult to do but other than that hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers